Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Jimmy here and welcome to the start of my new series uh, using Richard Burns Rally. Uh, this is my failed RSRBR install which is why it looks all different to the normal game. Uh, you basically RS, RSRBR installs a lot of cars onto it and it's a very big patch and I couldn't get it to work, it's very difficult to do. So I'm kind of now stuck with a very weird username and yeah this profile but it's no worries because I've got all the, the cars unlocked. What I'm going to be doing, uh, got a bit off topic there, what I'm going to be doing is going for a rally season, a uh, couple of stages at a time, videos at a time, uh, basically taking you through my first run through the stage, I'll literally record the first time I go through it, if I crash I crash that's it and uh, you know, hopefully it'll be entertaining for you guys. Uh, Richard Burns Rally is a, a sim that will kick your ass, it's probably still known as the best off-road rally sim there is available right now. I think Mr. Empty Box had a video on his channel about a new thing being developed which involved those kind of truck things, I forget, I think they're called the, the, the C-O-R-R, the core series. Uh, but that's not yet done, so Richard Burns Friday is still the only decent off-road full game that I can think of off the top of my head. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, so we're we'll we doing a rally season. We're going to do it on professional because I'm not... Disclaimer now, I'm probably going to crash at some point. I'm not the best at this game. I'm not terrible, but I'm not the best by any kind of means. So we'll go and refresh. I think that kind of suits my level at this game. And we'll turn damage off because we won't get through any stages at all. Crashes alone cost you enough time to lose a stage. So that's why I'm turning damage off there. Um, next big decision is the car. I've already decided what car I'm going to take uh, based on how it looks on the inside because I'm actually running this at a higher resolution it's meant to be run. It's, so uh, it's kind of a bit dodgy in some of the cars. You can't actually race the Toyota at all on board with that resolution because you just end up seeing the roof, which is hilarious. But we're going to be driving the uh, Citroen Zara down here. That's the car we're going to be going with. And yeah, hopefully it will go okay. This is uh, one of my favourite cars from Old School Rally. Uh, everyone, I'm, I didn't want to take the impress look. I didn't want to do it injustice. Obviously, this is Richard Burns Rally, and he's on the with us, unfortunately. And Subaru is also driven by it. Mr. Colin McRae and I don't want to end up with any kind of killers on my <laughs> on my trail for doing badly in a certain car. Uh, we won't be taking it too seriously. We're going to kind of skip all the uh, the wreckies or the wrecks or whatever you call them, just because I can't bother to do them. And we're going to jump straight in and hopefully do well. So yeah, let's uh, get straight in there. We'll forfeit that default setup because I have no idea how to set up these cars, but like oval. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're going to jump straight in. I need to change my view because it defaults us to a McLaren F1 style view in the middle of the car, which I don't quite like. And we'll start stage one, which is Harwood Forest 2 in uh, the UK. So I might not talk so much in this because it's a very difficult thing to talk and drive, but I'll do my best. Three, two, okay, right. One, go. I'm very careful to jump the start. You can do that there, but I do bog down the revs quite a fair bit, which isn't great. Now, oh my god. That was really bad first car. I hit the e brake and I didn't get around it as a result. I've got my handbrake kind of set to one of the, the right the right paddle at the back, the right clacker as I call it. So you might hear that go off a couple of times, that's just me ripping the old handbrake to get around the corner quicker. Oh God, I literally lost my chain of thought, I was going to say something right at the start, it's gone already. This game is very intensive on both driving and thinking so I might not be sensical sometimes, I might just sprout complete rubbish. The trick in this game, as it says a lot in the kind of the rally school and uh, on the menus, is to don't drive at your limit, drive slowly what you think is slowly you'll get through the stage a lot quicker that day. Sounds like a bit of a paradox but it does work. Now I know there's a bridge in this stage that caught me out last time I went through here. I have driven some of these stages before obviously but I don't by any means know them. Kind of taking it easy. Not going too fast. I think it was this bridge that caught me out last time. You'd take a, if you go too far to the right you just fall off the bridge which I nearly did there. Very terrifying. You see I'm spending a lot of time in the higher gears. This car has a lot of Talk, so we don't really need to be in the lower gears that much. I mean, for kind of the really slow corners, we need acceleration out of them. That's what I was uh, doing there. Oh, mercy. Yeah, I played this a bit on my stream, which is what kind of got the bug back again. I do really like this game. That's a ditch. Come on, fall through. This thing's four wheel drive, so we can pretty much pull out of any of those ditches, which is nice, but they are still not nice to go in if you're carrying a lot of speed because they will rip you apart. Well, so I have no damage on, but I'll get thrown somewhere I don't want to be thrown, which is kind of not ideal. God, this. I remember um, I, I was kind of tempted to put like a face cam on this because it's kind of entertaining to watch someone play Richard Burns Rally because they come down with a severe case of what I call Petter Solberg face, and I'll try and put a picture in the video to let you know what that looks like. 
Um, and basically they're just concentrating so hard that they just look hilarious. This isn't going too quick at the moment. I'm kind of just like I said, just trying to get through the stage. Because I have like a no reset rule going on. If I mess up, I mess up. Bit of speed for here now. I know there's a corner here that kind of puts you off a little bit. It's this one on the left here, I think. No, it wasn't. It was the one before that. Oh, I got through it. Okay, well, maybe I don't know this stage at all then. So you look at the speed on the right there. We aren't going too quickly, but god damn it, it feels like it. Also, this is my first time playing the game in a 1910x1080 resolution. I didn't know you could do that until I started looking at ways of recording this game. This game is very difficult to record, doesn't like doing a lot of things. It uh, doesn't like being outside in window mode, sounds go off. So I had to record it in full screen, and it crashes when you go out of full screen if you try and alt tab. So I have no idea if this is recording right now, can you hope it is? Oh, where's that medium left? It's here. Now I've missed this before a lot. Go straight on there and have to reverse most of the time. It's probably the first time I've not actually gone down that kind of lay by there, which is nice. God, the amount of steering work you have to do here. I mean, it's a bit of a workout this game. Plus you're talking at the same time. I, I just wish I could have got RSRBR working because that adds a lot to the game. But the stock content isn't bad by any any, any kind of measure. It's really decent. Come on! The stage ends at the, the red ones here, so we try to get through those as quick as we can. And there you go. So 3.47.67, I'm not sure what that time is like, so we'll get through these and we'll have a look. And... We won't know how our, how we've done until we kind of get through. Well, oh, I say we're quite far ahead. We're about 20 seconds in the lead. That's good. That's actually a decent stage. Um, I'm just seeing, I'm taking, I don't remember how many stages. I think there's six stages per rally. So what I'm going to be doing is doing um, three stages at a time. And then upload it like that. So kind of half a rally at a time. And hopefully that'll be enough for you guys. So let's continue. So it's going to be dried in it. I, I think it did. Oops, well, I didn't check that. We now start last, I think, because we were first in the standing, so we have to start last on track. So that's an advice to start last, I believe, because obviously the car's been, the track's really been run through. That's a bit of a better start than last time we didn't bog down. And we're driving the same stage? I guess we are. There might be a, a change somewhere in it. I didn't see which stage we were running. Gotta be really careful for this bit because it's very easy to put a wheel off the track, like here for example, and get dragged into the little kind of trees. Pretty much everything you see in Richard Burns Rally that is off track is solid. So you'll be really careful. Ooh, uh, don't like getting air in this game. You have no control when you're in the air, obviously, so it's quite scary. And control is something you really do want in this. I hate calling it a game, people won't like that, but I don't really see stuff as sims, I see it as games all the time. It's a game I'm playing for enjoyment. What a sim I'm using for super serious purposes. I just feel like it is the same stage, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it gives you, in, give them, uh, gives you them in a random kind of order. I still think that I might kind of split off at some point. Oh my god, I hit bump there, come on, keep it going. I just got a wheel in the ditch and that put the car on a really weird bump when I went over the crest. Now I think volume's okay in this, but obviously you can let me know in the comments if the volume's a bit off, I'll probably know in post-editing anyway. Oh god. Post-editing? What's that? In post-production. There you go, that sounds a bit better, doesn't it? If I don't notice it in editing, then I'm pretty much screwed. <laughs> okay, so left here, come on. Left, 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 left. Just about got so down for that in time. Kept out the dips, that's nice. I didn't really see it, and I should have been paying attention to the notes, but sometimes it's quite difficult to listen to the notes and go at the same pace. You know, concentration where you're putting the car a lot. Oh, get under the bumps, get under the bumps! Oh, just avoiding going up that hill there into those trees, that would have been a very quick stop for us. I'm very sure this is the same stage. I'm not too fast, so I'm sure we'll get a different stage next. If not, easiest rally ever, lol. Oh god. 
that was really bad by me. I saw it at the last minute. I tried to hammer it around it and power out, but the momentum into the corner was too much and it put me in the ditch. We are still ahead of the best time by a second, though. Bit of handbrake there just to get around, and I got. Oh, I came so close to those logs at the side. Really quite scary. Just keeping it in sixth right now, using the torque. Use fifth for that, we'll slow down a bit. Oh, the fence. The fence on the right there gets very close to you sometimes if you're not careful. So it's definitely a matter of keeping an eye on what everything is relative to you. Try and... Yeah, same stage. We have to... Oh, no, that's going to hurt. Ah, trees. Come on. Ah, you can, if you get stuck, you can call for help, but it costs you about 15 seconds. So it's kind of quicker to try and get out first. Or, well, you have to judge it, really. Because you can spend some time, a few seconds trying to get out and then give up, and spend 15 seconds again getting help. But that's our first kind of big incident. I'll say big incident, our first incident, which is quite nice. Considering we've done the stage. Oh my god. Anyone who likes rallying needs to get on this. Like, this game is so cheap now. I mean, like, dirty cheap. Like, four or five pounds on, on Amazon cheap. Yeah, that was eight seconds or so slower than the last time around. Oh, wait, that's, it's a different ending, isn't it? Or is it? I don't actually know. No, that was Harvest Forest 1. We did Harvest Forest 2 last time. Okay, so it's a bit slower, or a bit of a different stage. And we won that stage as well, good. We got off to a good start of our season so far. So, uh, last stage of the video, what's it going to be? Shepherd's Shield, I don't remember this one. See the front of our car a bit battered. We went into that bank fairly quickly, but we're all right. There's no actual damage because that's off. Good, we're cheating bastards. Oh, a bit of tarmac. I've been treated. The guy's starting to really sad. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, the trick of these cars is to get into high gears quickly because they are pretty much all about the torque. And using those little kind of curb. Uh, the dips inside the road to turn the car, which I miss. And um, very luckily, miss this kind of Ford here. Ah, God damn it! Wrong gear. That's a really bad start to this stage. I'm just not in the right place on the track at the moment. Still out of rhythm. There you go. Okay, we've got a chance to get back into rhythm now. Bill, the speed. Oh, I just killed a bird. Okay, dead bird. <laughs> The speed builds so quickly. Oh, there's a bridge in these cars. Like, it's unreal. That's going to be awkward. Using the dip to get round because I messed up the, kind of the first corner there in that little series. 90 right. Handbrake, please. Oh, too much. That could have been cool if I... Didn't give it that much handbrake. Oh, bridge, nice and slow, good. Those bridges, basically, if you avoid, if you miss them each side, you'll go straight into like this bank, and it flips the car, and that is 20, 30 seconds lost. Good try to do some Scandinavian flicks, but I'm not Scandinavian, so they won't work. So you get up to 150 k's through here faster than I want to be going really. That's why, that's why. Tree, 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 watch out the tree. Trees! Oh, I knew I was going too fast yet I continued. God damn it. Come on Broadbent, we got this. I'm hoping that I can do three stages and stop because I don't want to do another stage after this. For the video's sake anyway, because it'll kind of put everything out of whack. Medium left, where? There it is, okay. Using the ditches, and I got flung out of that one too fast. Think of the ditches like the carousel and the Nurburgring. You want to try and get into them, you don't want to go around them. That's bad. Grass caught my front wheels as I turned there. Slow me down a bit, not too much though. Those wondering, I'm not using the, the clackers for this, you'll be able to hear it. So the clackers are being used for the, uh, the handbrake. I'm using my little 
THH shifted to the left of me here for up and down gear, so a lot of my time I'm spending only one hand on the wheel. That's how I drive rally cars with one hand, because I'm not much of a boss. I ended the stage, okay, where's the, there it is, power through. 257.75, I don't know if that's decent or not, but anyway, let's have a look. Only person sub three minutes. I said it's pretty good. We're doing pretty well. This difficulty might be a bit small, for, uh, a bit, a bit small, a bit too easy for me. But um, obviously, I haven't crashed yet, so that's good. Anyway, guys, we're going to try and leave it there. I'm going to save my progress, save, and yeah, we'll come back next time for stage four, uh, and hopefully, we can retain our lead. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you make of this kind of new idea of Richard Burns rally in the comments. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. So, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.